Here's something that may not be on your Christmas lit wish list just yet, but it's showing up on a lot more of them this year. 3D printers for the home or office. Seema Modi takes a look at just how popular and mainstream these amazing devices have become. Will 3D printers be a hot gift this year? MakerBot's president, Jenny Lawton, thinks they could be. We're seeing people come in who, who have never even heard of 3D printing and walking out with a 3D printer. Stratasys, the 3D printing company that acquired MakerBot earlier this year, opening two stores in Boston and Greenwich ahead of the holidays. The goal? Attracting a new type of customer, the retail consumer. The personal 3D printing market is still small, only about 36,000 units sold in 2012, accounting for just 6% of total sales for the 3D printing industry. Analysts say bringing in those consumers is crucial. Well, they have to innovate and they have to keep innovating with new products that appeal to consumers. But go to market strategy is really important because this is a new market. So what kind of objects are consumers printing? MakerBot has over 100,000 designs available on its online database, including prosthetic arms, plastic gnomes, not to mention the countless items you can scan, upload and print. We have a 12-year-old son who's very interested in engineering, so we thought that this would be a perfect introduction for him to come and kind of try to build something that he has dreamt up. And it's not just Stratasys that is getting in on the action, with more than two dozen consumer models this year. Big retailers like Amazon, Walmart and Staples are all selling 3D printers geared for the consumer, with prices starting as low as $300. Stratasys and 3D Systems, the two biggest names in the space, have been red-hot stocks for investors this year. And if the industry is able to capture a mainstream audience, the growth these companies are seeing could go even higher. For Nightly Business Report, I'm Seema Modi, Greenwich, Connecticut.